Welcome to the AZTaxes.gov account linking tutorial. Today we will discuss how to link an existing business tax account to your AZTaxes.gov user profile. From the AZTaxes.gov homepage, click on the Log on to AZ Taxes button. Log into your user profile by providing the username and password that were established during the AZTaxes.gov new user registration process. For more information regarding this process, please visit www.azdor.gov or follow the step-by-step -step guidance provided in the new user registration tutorial found at www.aztaxes.gov. If you currently do not have any accounts linked to your user profile, you'll be directed to an online services and businesses page that provides options for new and existing businesses. Click on the blue Link Accounts button under the Existing Businesses heading. If you do not have an existing businesses account to link to your user profile, please visit www.azdor.gov for more information. Or follow the step-by-step -step guidance provided in the Applying for a TPT License tutorial found at www.aztaxes.gov. If you already have a business tax account linked to your user profile and wish to link another account, you will be directed to the business list screen upon logging in. Select Business Registration from the options listed on the menu on the left side of the screen, then select Business Account Linking from the submenu. This will bring you to the Business Account Linking page, which explains that you will be the primary user for any business that is registered through this user profile. There can be only one primary user for each profile, and it is recommended that the primary user be an officer or owner of the business. The primary user will have the authority to assign and manage and delegate users as needed. When you have read the information needed to get started and are prepared to proceed, check the box indicating that you have the required information and click on the blue Continue button to begin the linking process. You will be directed to a page titled Business Registration Taxpayer Information. Here you will be prompted to provide some information regarding the business that you are attempting to link. First, select the tax ID type. For this demonstration, we have selected the Employer Identification Number, or EIN. Next, provide the tax identification number in the field provided. In the next field, you must provide the complete legal business name as reflected in the Arizona Department of Revenue records. Entering a Doing Business As or DBA name will cause the linking request to be suspended and possibly denied. You will then be prompted to provide only the last name of an owner or corporate officer of the business as listed in the Arizona Department of Revenue records. In the following field, you will enter the last four digits of the owner's or officer's, as named in the prior field, social security number. If the owner's or officer's name does not match the number provided, this link request will be denied. Finally, you will be prompted to indicate whether you or any agent of the business has made a payment in the last 12 months. The default answer to this question is no. If you have made a payment in the last 12 months, select yes. Once you have made your selection, check the box confirming that you are not a robot and click on the blue Save and Continue button at the bottom of the page. For this example, we have indicated that a payment has been made within the last 12 months. Selecting Yes will take you to the Business Registration Account Information screen. On this screen, you'll be prompted to provide some details regarding any payment made within the last 12 months. First, select the year and month that your payment was applied, then select the tax type for which the payment was provided. Enter the license if tax type is transaction privilege tax. Enter the exact dollar amount of the payment. When you have provided all of the requested information, click on the blue Save and Continue button at the bottom of the screen. This brings you to the Business Account Linking Review and Submit page, where you can review the information before submitting your linking request. The users who indicate that no payments were made in the last 12 months will be directed to this page without the additional step of adding payment information. When you have carefully reviewed the information, enter your e-signature PIN and click on the blue Submit Application button at the bottom of the screen. Next, you'll receive your business account linking confirmation number. You will need to have this number ready in the event that you wish to contact an Arizona Department of Revenue representative with any questions about your linking request. Customers are advised to allow up to 24 hours for each linking request to be processed. However, many users find that this request is processed in as little as 4 hours. If processed successfully, you will see the linked business tax account in your business list the next time you log into your aztaxes.gov user profile. Under the status column, request to link will be displayed as either in progress, completed, or suspended. Congratulations, you have successfully linked a business tax account to your aztaxes.gov user profile. 
Thank you for your time today.